We have an awesome episode today. Well, hopefully. Hi, I'm Jake from Cali Kid Customs. I have been working hard over the years to fulfill a true passion of mine, restoring classic vehicles. Throwing everything I have into making this dream come true, watch as I discover these rare classics, top mechanics, and money pits, unearthing lessons and hidden gems along the way. As the great Pirelli Jones says, if you're in control, you're not going fast enough. Hit like and subscribe below. It's a beautiful sunny San Diego day. It's summertime, there's thunderclouds in the distance, and we're gonna try and um, get some paint stripped off the coupe that we're working on today. I'll be using Aircraft Paint Stripper from Clean Strip. I picked it up from my local auto body shop. Um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend um, putting in Google um, auto body um, supply store near me. Um, it's honestly gonna be my new home. I freaking love that place. It was super cool. Um, it's just a bunch of guys hanging out. Um, and then obviously everyone was there picking up supplies for their body. So I ended up talking to a couple guys, um, someone working on collisions uh, that they actually work for. Others were hobbyists like I am and just kind of figuring out what they were doing. Um, they have tons of knowledge, the workers do. So definitely Google that and um, just enjoy, like it was a really cool experience for me. So today we're jumping in, gonna do this coupe and hopefully get this uh, stripped down to bare metal so I can get some epoxy primer and then get it um, started with filling.
can't even believe this happened to me today. What a complete waste of the day. This is just another reason why you read the directions and even the disclaimers at the very bottom. Doing this in 100 degree heat where the metal is 115, when the directions say, apply at temperatures between 65 and 85 and out of pure sunlight. I did just exactly the opposite. I applied this when it was 100 degrees out in the pure sunlight. I did do it outside and I would recommend this highly, highly, highly. I had a Harbor Freight mask and um, sure it helped a little bit but even through that I could still smell the fumes and it uh, created a huge radius of fumes. I would say 50 feet around the car you could literally smell the paint stripper. So the whole time I was waiting for this to cure I thought it was working because it was smelling um, but I'm guessing it was just burning off. So back at it gonna try this again later on tonight but this is what defeat looks like. Um, it's hot, it's sweaty, it is draining. Um, I don't drink Red Bulls, but right now I am because it's that bad. So stay tuned. Hopefully I can get this thing stripped by the end of the night and show you guys some progress. Make sure you hit like and subscribe.